Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Intel Core i7-2600. So I also have in front of me some of the other members of the new updated Core i5 and Core i7 family on the LGA 1155 socket. So this guy right here, this is the 2600. The 2600 has something kind of unique about it and that is that it is the highest clocked Intel Core i7 CPU on this platform. It features hyper-threading, Turbo Boost, it has a full 8 meg cache, but, but, it is not quite the highest end processor in this series. The 2600K, which I've unboxed already, has a couple of advantages. It is unlocked and unleashed, which means it has an unlocked multiplier for maximum overclocking, and the K-series processor also features Intel HD Graphics 3000 series versus Intel HD Graphics 2000 series. Now, that's not to say the 2600 can't be overclocked at all. You can overclock it up to, I believe it is eight speed bins over the stock 3.4 gigahertz frequency. So that means you can go up to 4.2 gigahertz. Okay, so that's not too bad, but these K-series chips are typically able to reach 4.7 and even higher with only modest aftermarket cooling. So let's get this one opened up. It is a 95 watt TDP part. Well, I don't think we're going to see any higher TDP parts on the LGA 1155 socket because on Intel's roadmap there is an LGA 2011 that is unironically or ironically, not sure which, going to be released in 2011. So the first thing we find inside is an Intel Core i7 sticker, as well as installation instructions and a three year limited warranty. The next thing we find in the eco-friendly packaging here that is made of cardboard is a stock cooler. Now it's a very weak stock cooler. I would definitely recommend upgrading to uh, something a little bit more robust and I'll let the cameraman stare at that cooler and show you guys that while I go and grab something that I think would be a more appropriate heatsink for this little chip. This right here is the Corsair A70, although I only have one fan on it. And this is definitely, I mean, come on. This, the, the sheer mass in heat pipes alone is probably more than this entire cooler weighs fan and all. So you can imagine that especially if you're overclocking, you're gonna be able to dissipate more heat. It's gonna run quieter, etc., etc. This thing's pretty weak. Does come with pre-applied thermal compound and a copper slug in the middle, as well as what appears to be a 92 millimeter. No, I think that's an 80 millimeter PWM controlled fan. Now let's have a look at the CPU itself. Now the CPU comes out just like this. Put on there, pull this out and the CPU in its little plastic clamshell looks a little something like that. So as I mentioned before, this is nearly identical to the 2600K. So it's the same clock speed, same cache. The only performance difference you're gonna see on this chip is on the onboard graphics, which you're only gonna be using on an H67 chipset or a Z68 chipset, not on P67 because it doesn't support onboard graphics. And then also if you are overclocking, so if you're adding a big aftermarket cooler and overclocking, spring for the extra couple bucks for the K-series chip. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Intel Core i7-2600 processor. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.